First of all, we will open the TIA portal software and create a new project. Name your project. Press create to create a new project. Add a new device. I am using the S7120 OPLC here. Press add. Now, we will enable put and get for the PLC. Create a new database block. Name the database block. Now, let's create a string type tag. Here, I am using 20 bytes for the string tag. Don't forget to turn off the optimization function for the data block. Download the program to the PLC. Let's go online with the PLC for monitoring. Open Visual Studio software. Create new project. Name the project. Select the folder to save the project. Now, we can start designing the C interface. To connect to a Siemens PLC, we need to add the S7.NET library. If you don't have the library, please visit the tutorial to download it. Create a class with the above name, or you can create a class with any name. Copy the using statements from the tutorial and use them for this class. Copy the function for writing data in string format and paste it into the class. Here is the function for writing data in string format. Call the PLC from the main form using this command. At this point, the code is showing an error because I haven't added the s7.net function yet. Add a text box and a button to main form.
In the design name section, we set an ID for the text box. Continue by creating a new button. In the design name section, we set an ID for the button. Name the button. Set the font size for the button. Double click the button to view the code. Use this code for the button. Note that this is the ID of the data block. You see that the ID of the data block is 1. And here is the starting address of the tag. You can see that the starting address is 0. And here is the ID of the text box. Which is this text box? And here is its ID. Save the project and run it in runtime to check. I will input a random text to check. We have successfully written a string data to the PLC. I will try another text. We will test the case where the string address doesn't start from zero. I will add some tags before the string tag. Now, the starting address of the string tag is 8. Here, we also need to change the address to 8. Run the runtime again and check the results. Data has been written successfully. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for the next lesson. This is a free course, and you can also join in.